And since I've been here, man, you've shared a lot of stories, and I appreciate that. You got any good ones you share with, with on YouTube? Uh, you got some that you can share? Because I know there's some stuff you can't. You got anything good stories that you can share? Well, you was like uh, one of the stories I want to share is uh, with uh, Sunday will be will be true. It's about the emerald. It's a Tutan emerald here in Cape Creek. Mm -hmm. That was given to me in a. Uh, mm -hmm. Babor died. Uh, Babor died in nineteen. Uh, Babor died in uh, October fifteen, ninety one, and two weeks later after he died, mm -hmm. actually ten days after he died, uh, an American mm -hmm. come looking for for me in Apache Junction. He found me in Apache Junction. He found me a Goldfield Ghost Town, and he said he got a message for me. And I said, "What is the message?" He said, I got a two-ton emerald to work for you. If you decide to work for us, I said, what do you have to do? He said, you have to be a head of security for the Colombian emerald cartel. And I said, how many emeralds is there? And he told me, the biggest emerald I've ever seen is that big. And that's in the movies, not in real life. I've seen emeralds and rings. Yeah. But it's a, it's a movie that I love to see it's called Romance in the Stone. Yeah. And it's the the Hara the, the Hara Colombia. Yeah. That's the biggest emerald I've ever seen and I don't know if it was even real. And and this guy talking about two ton emeralds worth a billion dollars. And I said, What I had to what I had to do for that for that emerald? He said, You got two choices, either work for us and, and get it out and then after you get it out you work for us or leave it alone. I was forty years old, you know. I I uh, I love adventure, mm -hmm. and I say, and after I get it out, what what do I do? And he say, well, that's only a token of appreciation. After that, you get get a paycheck, you get a mercenary army to to lead. And I told him to so say, if I want to get a mercenary army, I want to make sure I bring my friends. And they told me so. You know, your friends uh, messed up, you die. I said, yeah, but if I take you take you offer, I die faster. And they laugh. And I told my friends this story, so I went to Bob Shoes, and Bob Shoes told me, how, how, do you know, uh, how, "How do you know he's lying to you?" I said, "Bob Shoes, he come from Colombia. He was sent by the Colombian Emerald Cartel in Colombia to find me in Apache Junior. He don't find me in Apache Junior. He find me here at Goldfield. And when I asked him who sent him, he said, when, when you go to Colombia, you will find out who.' So I asked the guy to draw me a map, so I have an idea where." What I was facing, he told me, you go in through the tunnel, you drop down, and then you drop, you go to certain level, and then you come back up, like a trick, like a trick, mm -hmm. and come up, and there is the emerald. The problem, and then, so Bob Shoes say, listen, I think he's dying to you. I got $20 on my pocket, not, not a single penny more. That was a $20 bill. I said, look, Bob Shoes, I'll tell you what I do. I'll give you my last $20. And we put it in the gas tank. You drive, we gamble. So, Bob Shoes partner was, was a, a, a singler, Jay Singler. Father come from like uh, Michigan, that area, to see him. And it worked out beautiful because that thing was meant to be, was meant to be. And so Bob Shoes, his partner, Jay Singler, uh, uh, his partner in the ghost town, Jay Singler, and, uh, and Jay Singler's father, and the Colombian Emerald Cartel agent, and I went there on, on Bob's track. We went there. Everything he told me was beautiful, and it was a tunnel, and then goes down, and and then I went down and look, and, and looked like a looked like the tunnel ended at the bottom. So we got ropes, and and we went down, me and Bob. And when I get to the bottom, the the tunnel that that, that, that I was supposed to get in it was like close to two foot uh, from the top. So Bob said, "Who who gonna go first?" I said, "Bob, I go first." And he, and if I uh, scream, just don't worry about me. Just uh, just get out because I I'll be right behind you. So we. we, we we had to crawl in our bellies all the way to the inn and that inn, and I thought he lied to me. But all of a sudden, I noticed that on top of me was a hole. 
And then we went to the hall and then we make a left turn. And why he forgot to tell me what he did on purpose or not, that before I can get to the Emerald, I will find a, a turquoise band that big, that big and uh, that big and, 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 and that, that white. And, uh, and I thought he lied to me because he, I th so I, I went to the, to the inner the cave and the cave was the thing is like what I call in my own words without nobody putting words in my mouth. I call it the Royal Russian, Russian Fabergé shape emerald. This emerald is something that, that you had to see it to, to understand me. It's like a dinosaur egg. It's uh, over six foot tall, and two men's gonna hug it, and when you run your hand, like running your hand on a baby's butt, it's smooth, no, no fractures, just like pure crystal. No fractures, no yarding, but people call it no fracture, no yarding, no, 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 no uh, nothing uh, and inside is a beautiful, it's a perfect specimen. And when I saw it, I, I realized one thing, I buy more than I can shoot. And I told Bob, I said, I can get this emerald in, in a week, you help me. And, and Bob told me, well, help me to do the ghost town, and then we do it, and it's still there. So, and that happened uh, October 1925, 1991, because they give it to me to celebrate the Los Alamos Centennial. So did these people put it there? How did they know it was there? Well, when I asked them... Uh, Where did it come from? Do you know any of that? When I asked them how, how they knew that about the emerald, they said, some of them would not have the emerald for 20 years before we met you. And I say, yeah. if, 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 if you knew about it for 20 years before you met me, how can you, you, you don't get it out? And he said, and now I meet to ask question, I just a messenger. But I was 40 years old and uh, they want me to go all over the world taking care of business. So you were supposed to get it out and it was for yourself or what was it supposed no, to do? No, was, was supposed to give to, uh, give it to me a, as a token of appreciation because they heard so much about me that they don't believe it. I know what, what all people told them. I, I believe that one of my friends went to Colombia and told them, so you want the best, hurry the best. You so know. you gonna get in trouble for? No, this no, not really, so not really. Put this up or? You know, hey, 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 if I die, I don't want you dying. I, I'm gonna tell you something about it, okay? I think worth it to me that if you. <laughs> this time I'm not worried about dying because after what happened in uh, Istanbul, Turkey, with the Washington Rep uh, Washington Post reported, life is short. I lived for 26 years in the life. And when I realized how life is short, I mean, he got killed in the consulate. He's what to a, a strangle, beheaded, cut off to pieces. And that's why it was bad. Since then, I found out that two ghettos in, here in the United States got taken by the food. They, they, got, they, got, they, got, they, got, they got it facing each other, taking the food, taking by the waste, and they tore them off of a bridge in the Port of Mark River. You know, people tell me, do you worry about anything? I say, you know what? Once you're a member of the Cuban smoking coke cartel and the, and the Miami coke cartel, Colombian, uh, the Miami Colombian coke cartel, the rest is, 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 a, is nothing but a play. I just don't want my, to me, if I don't share my stories, my life in this, in this mountain went to waste because one day somebody gonna come over Look at my life, look at what, what I say. And, and they wanna fo try to follow my footsteps, but I don't want them to make the same mistake I make. And the, and the mistakes that I make, that I hang on to my friends for too long. And by the time I, and then I look back and I say, why well, don't drop them 40 years ago? <laughs> but, just like my board, 
Yedda Babur say, you want loyalty? Give a loyalty. What's going to happen to me? You know, at a certain point you have to face life. Life is uh, not uh, eternal, you know. And, and, if you, and if people start to scare, they don't do me no good. So that emerald, is that here or is that someplace? No, it's, it's in Cape Creek. It's in Cape Creek. Where's, where's that? that no, North Scottsdale. Oh. And the town of Cape Creek and North Scottsdale here in Arizona. Oh. But what bothers me is that they knew about the emerald 20 years before me. And they never bothered to get it out because people don't understand about... We uh, Latin people think different from most people, you know. They don't worry about money. All they worry about, can you get the job done? Because money is no object. The question is, they like me, you want the best, hire the best. And you don't, you want to hire the best, don't do it. I mean. So you, have you, you been back to see it? You plan I see, I see, getting it out? I, I, I saw it three times. The first time Bob and I saw the, the first time. So Bob seen it too? Bob, Bob Schultz, he owns Goldfield Ghost Town. He's seen it? The first time. The second time, I went back there. I saw it twice on the same weekend. I saw it on, on Saturday. And then we went to Seven Spring looking for a, um, a stone that, that they make ashtrays out of it. I can think about the name now. Onyx. That's the name Onyx. And then in the way back, we could, went from Apache Junction to, to get, because I told my friend, I said, you come with me. I get you a uh, uh, beautiful um, turquoise, and, and, and he followed me. He was about 16, 17. I was in my in my 40s. He was like 17 years old, and he followed me. And I told him to say, if I ever get this seminar on the ground, I'm taking you with me wherever I go. But nothing happened. And and then we went looking for onyx from Cape Creek. We went looking onyx to Seven Springs. And we don't find a big onyx, there was small pieces, and the way back, we went the second time, and we got more, more, uh, more turquoise. And the name of the turquoise, because I named it the, the, the Mayan blue, ja the, the Mayan blue jaguar, uh, turquoise. And, uh, I'm not interested on, on, on the turquoise, because the turquoise is commercial-wise inverted. The emerald, in 1991 was value a billion dollars. That's 20, ah, 27 years ago. That's how long you've been there. And it was, it was 20 years before me and after me when I went there for another 27. So, that, so they, they know about the Emerald for the last 47 years. How do you think they knew about it? Did they put it there, or they found the old map of it, or...? Well, their Venus is emerald. Anything to do with emeralds. It's like the De Beers. Ah. If you, uh, anything that has to do with, with diamonds, they, they got their hands on it. And it's up to them to decide what to do with you. You know, where you live or die. So you plan on getting it someday, or are you just going to I, 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 the, the thing is that... It, can you it, get it out? I mean... Oh, well, yeah, getting it out is not the problem. Being able to, to do it the right way without nobody getting hurt. And most people, the minutes I, I mentioned the Colombia cartel, they, they get scared, you know? But if, I, if, I, if you're going to follow me on the Emerald, I have to be full. I had to be full disclosure. I don't want no surprises. And, and, and I'm sure you don't want no surprises either. So, you getting hurt is not going to help me. Me getting hurt is not going to help you. Right. The idea is to get the job done. Because after I get that job done, they promised me, me I, I will go, they will take me to Colombia to an Emerald waterfall. When the Emeralds come over the, over the waterfall into a shallow uh, lagoon. And all you do is free dive pick them up, put them in the shore, and it's an air, air strip next to the, to the waterfall in the lagoon, and they load it into the, into the airplane, 
and they and they bring into the, the, the uh, you know one way flight to uh, what I call it. Uh, yeah, direct flight to the United States, and before they even land, the emeralds have already been sold. Because mm. and what what people don't realize that for years and years the emerald cartel was a like a secret society. Mm. And 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 when uh, when they when they picked me to do that job is when the emerald cartel become more and well known. Some people deny it. Yeah, I've never ever heard of the emerald cartel. The Colombian Emerald Cartel. Huh. You got the South African Diamond Cartel. Mm -hmm. And one time, uh, believe it or not, one time the the De Beers, with owns the South African Diamond Cartel, went to Colombia and they tried to tell their business, how to do their business, and they told us, so go back to South Africa. <laughs> we don't need you. Uh, and part of the problem is that the Colombian Emerald Cartel is fragmented. You know, it's not a one body is like a broken like a broken glass you know that need to be mended together so it can hold water but some people w w wanted to be f fragmented and other people wanted to be well known i prefer that they've been talking lately in colombia about creating what they call the the colombian uh, emerald cartel but Victor Carranza was trying to do that, and and, and they wanted like two hundred thousand dollars to like the stock market where you buy a seat in the in the stock market. They was talking about before you can be a member of the uh, Colombian Emerald Stock Exchange, uh, exchange you know, exchange. They wanted two hundred thousand dollars per seat, just to buy the seat, and after that you had to pay a year membership. And some people say we don't want that because. If, if, because once you do that, then everybody knows your face, you know. So to me, if I was to, to do it right, I would create a, a Colombian Emerald Exchange uh, a stack, you know, uh, welding or whatever you want to call it, and, and compete with the compete with the with, with the dealers. Because to know, I believe that the, the Colombian em, uh, Colombian Emerald gemstone. If you find one, it's worth ten times more than a diamond. Really? Yeah. A pure emerald, a one carat, is worth ten times than a diamond. Huh? And that's one of the reasons the the, the beers want to want to control the the emerald the emerald cartel too, so they can control the yeah, the diamonds and the uh, and the and the emeralds, and uh, that's never going to happen because water and oil don't mix. Is there any more you can tell? You just tell me, and then if you, just, if you don't want to tell any, well, go ahead. Well, I'm going to tell you something because it's, uh, it's already public knowledge and, and internet. Victor, Caran Victor Carranza was the, uh, the Colombian Emerald Tsar in, in South America, uh, Colombia, South America, and his lieutenant was Pablo Elias Delgadillo, and he carried the same name my car, Delgadillo, and he died not too long ago. And uh, one time I called the, and here in the United States we got the, what they call uh, the Emerald King of North Carolina, of North Carolina State. And I called him one time. Uh, one time I found it, I went in the laundromat in Bellenio, Mexico, and I found a Reader Dyers. And the Reader Dyers was a story about Jamie Hill, the North Carolina, uh, the Emerald King of North Carolina, so I called him and offered to sell him a billion dollars emerald for five million dollars. And he listened to me like a businessman, he don't call me crazy or nothing. And he said, Salvador, I give you five million dollars guys, no question asked. But on one condition, and when he said one condition, I said, here we go. The, 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 the deal went sour, he said. So I say, what kind of condition? He say that if you're telling the truth about the, the emerald, the shape of the emerald, even if it's not emerald, it's worth $5 million. Mm. But if it's an emerald, it's it worth a billion dollars, like you say, I don't you a penny. And I say, okay, but you had to come up with $5 million cash. 
and uh, five million dollars cash and uh, and two cases before uh, and 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 five uh, divided on five two cases one million dollars for each suitcase so, so I can pay my partners and not sold yours and. I thought I want to get it out because I, people told me they want to help me to get it out and then they back off in the last minute. Then uh, one day I, 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 I read that Tiffany and Company, Jewelry, Tiffany and Company, which is a jewelry company here in the United States, have the Smithsonian M Museum to build a, what they call the United States Gemstone of America Hall, Hall of Fame. So I called them up and they, they say that the most they can give me for the a billion dollars emerald was fifty thousand dollars, and I say I can get more than that in the black market. So do I'm telling the truth? Time will tell. You know, it's up to the up to the viewers to decide. You know, I'm not gonna force my views on nobody and tell them to believe by what I want to believe, because the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Your bottom line. Yeah. But do I'm scared to die. After the reporter got uh, killed in, uh, in Turkey and two girls uh, got killed here in the uh, United States by, by, what, uh, by what we suspect with the Saudi Arabia government, hey, bring it on. I mean, that's what, made, that, that's what separated us from, you know, that's what separated us from everybody, everybody else. You know, you're scared to die, you, you never make it in this, in this business, you know. So, mm -hmm. is that a wrap? That's yeah, a wrap. it's a wrap. Yeah. yeah.